Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hide, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hide, and welcome back to the Baseball Hide 2, and hopefully like the zoo, and subscribe. We're going to talk about Trevor Bauer, remember him? Pitch for the Reds, the Indians, when they were the Indians, and of course the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now here's from, uh, now a lot of people have been talking about it because obviously he settled this lawsuit that he, that he had uh, with this young woman that he had relations with. And uh, that's all been settled, and he brought receipts. But I'm not so concerned by that. I'm more concerned about whether where he if he's going to pitch in the major leagues, and if he is, hopefully not with the Mets. So here's some Odyssey.com. Well, WFN had something to say about this. You knew someone was going to say this. This is from Brandon Tierney. Yankees Mets should 100% take a shot on Trevor Bauer. Uh huh. Before we get into this video, let's talk about Trevor Barrow a little bit. Uh, prior to him getting into trouble with this young woman two years ago, right after he signed with the Dodgers, um, he's had issues in the clubhouse. Whatever clubhouse he's been in, he's had issues with. I think other than the Reds clubhouse and the Dodgers clubhouse. But he had a lot of issues in the clubhouse in, in Cleveland. Um, he's had a lot of issues over the years. He's actually had issues going back to college. When it comes to his uh, former teammate and current New York Yankee, Jared Cole. Now, uh, yeah, Jared Cole. And here's the thing. They didn't get along when they were in college. So for Brandon Tierney to sort of suggest that, that Barrow would be a great fit here, considering the history between those two particular players, it's not a good idea. First of all. You can leave comments in the comment sections about it. Um, but here's the thing about Bauer. He's had issues with his clubhouse. He's actually shown up his magic. He showed up uh, many years ago. In uh, 2019, he showed up Hall of Fame manager um, Tito Francona when he took a ball that he was going to give it to him because he was getting taken out of a game in, in Kansas City, and he threw it at center field. So Bowers had instances, as well, not only on the field but inside his own clubhouses, of very strange behavior. And he's been a polarizing figure wherever he's been. Now, uh, Tierney continues, and this is what happened with the, on the Odyssey.com uh, article. Trevor Power, Trevor Bauer posted a video to X, formerly known as Twitter, earlier this week revealing that he and Lindsey Hill had settled their lawsuits with no money exchanged and showed alleged text message that he says shows her tried to frame him for money. Bauer also showed a video allegedly from the morning after one of his sexual encounters with Hill which shows Hill smiling in bed next to Bauer, not showing any injuries that were alleged in 2021 when Bauer was accused of sexual assault. Now that Bauer's suspension and lawsuit is over, BT says the Mets and Yankees should take a chance on the former Cy Young winner. Quote, Jared Cole won, Trevor Bauer too. Well, first of all, Trevor Bauer's not really a number one or a number two starter. Brandon. He's always been a number three starter, whatever team he's been on. BT said it on a potential... Yankees rotation. Quote, if you can handle the strangeness, and I think you should, because I'm sure there's only Yankees or Mets who are strange. We just don't know. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> it's so stupid. Sure, 100%, I would take a shot and a chance on Bauer. I bet the good stuff is still there. Well, he is a person that's known to cheat on the mound. He's admitted that he's used spider attack, amongst other substances, to make his spin rate move. So, so... So Brandon is a little, you know, again, this sort of just throwing shit up against the wall and see if it sticks with the, with the audience. And people will talk about Bauer because he's, he is a polarizing figure. That's why I'm doing this video. Bauer hasn't pitched in the major since 2021, pitching in the Japan last season. While BT wouldn't hesitate to take a shot on Bauer, Sal isn't interested. Quote, I wouldn't touch Trevor Bauer. He doesn't seem like a guy who, he seems like a selfish player at times. Me personally... I just wouldn't touch him. Now, the Mets, these two guys in particular, and this radio station in particular, have said that the Met clubhouse was toxic. They, have, they said that Pete Alonso was toxic. So why would you put the most toxic player in the majors and what they are saying is a powder keg? Can someone explain that to me? No, because they're just throwing shit up against the wall to see if it sticks. Just as so for people like myself who do videos and make fun of them along the way. 
Now at least Spaz got this right. He knows, and, it, and it, you know, you think he would have mentioned the clubhouse? Like I said, Bauer has been a, a very polarizing figure in any clubhouse he's been in. He's very effing weird. He's just a weird guy, and I've been very consistent about him. I was not unhappy that the Mets lost out on signing him. I know there were other YouTubers that cursed him a blue streak. There was one YouTuber that punched a couch, if you remember. And I was the one person who said, nah, I wouldn't do that. And in a few months, he got himself in trouble. But again, and he is proven innocent and to proven guilty, and he didn't do anything to this girl. It was all, I guess, consensual. But the point being is that you stay away from guys like this. It'll be interesting to see if he does get a job in the majors. I don't know. Um, I would mention that when he pitched in Japan this past season, he was sent to the Japan minor leagues for a while. He didn't pitch well at all for, for the team that he pitched. I forget the team he pitched on. I did a video on him about six, seven months ago where he, he signed with a, a team. Um, but he is a guy, he's a pole. You don't want him in your clubhouse. You don't want him on your team. Just to the weirdness. He's a real oddball in Major League Baseball. He just doesn't get along with his teammates. And he does a lot of weird things on the field like... Uh, uh, Bush knew about 9-11 on the mat. Just weird stuff. Just very oddball kind of things. You don't want that. I mean, you don't want to bring him in here and then have the new manager talk with the Mets. You don't want the new manager talking about it, do you? I know I don't. So let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut too, and I'll see you later.